Hello everybody, you're here with Claru Beauty with your host Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in. So today is going to be an episode about Chanel and it is about the spring 2024 collection but not the eyeshadows. So that is a little different. So what are we going to be talking about? We're going to be talking about the new eyeliner, the blue eyeliner. This is uh, Blue Abyss and I will be comparing it to other blue eyeshadows from Charlotte Tilbury, When It um, Give, <laughs> um, Victoria Beckham and of course the other Chanel uh, color blue eyeliner, blue metal. So if you're interested in that, uh, we're also going to be trying um, the seashell, is it seashell? Yeah, lip, what do you call it? Liquid um, lipstick. I'll be able to read it in a little bit, but this is seashell and uh, a lip liner and the blue mascara. Yes, blue mascara. And I'll be comparing it to one other Thrive. So if you're interested to play with me, <laughs> keep on watching. And um, let's begin. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And please ring the bell in the right hand corner so you know when I upload new videos. Okay, so let's begin. Now, if you are interested on one of the spring 2024 collections from Chanel, this one, which is the um, Coral Treasure, I do have a review on it. I did not get the other eyeshadow palette, which is the Rivage. Um, I was not very into the sparkly blue and then it was too neutral and then it was out of stock and then it came back. I don't know. I'm still on the fence about it, believe it or not, but I do like the look we're going to be doing today and that's why I think I won't order it, but um, it's a favorite It between the two eyes. Um, well, it was a mix. Some people really like Coral Treasures and some people really like the blue one. Uh, the blue one ran out of stock much faster so I don't know you know do, 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 do. but there's no doubt that blue and pink are totally in style Victoria Beckham just came out with new white shadows and it includes a lighter pink than what she had and includes a blue very blue almost like well no more sky blue I mean really so those are the colors to be on the look very spring very happy very I mean it it reminds me of the 80s, but a little more sky blue, a little more cleaner, I would say. But anyway, let's begin. <laughs> here, we are. here I am, rambling, rambling. So the first thing I'm going to do, because I only have foundation on, should I put the number one of Chanel because I do like it, but my favorite, and I've been wearing that every single day. You're probably tired of me saying it, but it is a Chantecaille Fu uh, Future Gel Foundation. Love it, love it, love it. Use that every day. So uh, let's begin putting a little bit of lips so I'm not super like this. So I'm going to be uh, using, and I really, really, really like this, lip liners. One of my favorites. They're a little more expensive than the, mo the expensive ones, but these are 35. And I think most of them are in the range of 28, 30. So for $5, I do think it's worthwhile, the Chanel lip liners. So I'm wearing here 172 is one of my to go and it's a little in the pinkish. So I'm going to apply it on the Oscars of my lips and a little bit inside. Just a little bit in just so the color. I don't know if that this is to long last more because this is long lasting the one we're going to try but uh, I'm just used to doing that, so I'm just doing it, right? <laughs> this one's on the other side has a little brush. I never, never use it, but you know, there's people that really makes it look a lot nicer, put together, maybe cleaner. I don't use it. Okay, so we use that 172. Now, well, let me swatch it and I'll show you the swatch of the, what do we call this? I mean, oh my God, and I don't have my, I think this is too small for me to read. What is that called? I'll list it down below, but um, is Rouge Allure Lac. These are the lacs. Okay, lac. <laughs> and this is seashell. So let me swatch it for you first. Oh, looks a little browner than I recall. 
but that's okay because it's a very natural neutral color you'll see it does have some pink in there so I guess not as pink as the lip liner but it goes well because it really kind of mixes even with your lip color look how beautiful so it feels very light when you apply it very coating very moisturizing not drying at all I'm gonna oh no this is Dior I want to compare this is another lip liner I have and this is color 164 Pivone I just wanted to swatch it and see if it just gets closer yeah I think it's a little closer so perhaps you can use you see that this one this is Pivone um, number 164 so probably I have wear it with that one and I just got mistaken but today for the look I wanted a little more pink so I would still use the pink one just because it light I mean I know it doesn't look like it because I already put it on top and mixed it and it went more in that brownish but uh, believe it or not it does make a difference if you lip line with a little rose here it just does it just does I don't I, I don't, can't explain it but <laughs> so anyways you can use either or if you want to work closer to it because it's not darker than but it's the color is pretty close all right so what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna use the same lack a little bit on my cheeks I only put a little bit of contour this one was my Westman Atelier the Chantecaille foundation and the Westman Atelier bisque uh, contour is, is like a must it's the first things I do in the bathroom before putting my makeup so let's see what this does I haven't done this but I saw it on the Instagram let's see what it does because it's a little browner I was gonna go more pinkish in my cheek but I like when these two go together especially because we're gonna put blue in the eye right but it is true I was thinking of going more pinkish as the lip liner came out but let's 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 play let's play I always discover new things here with you guys so I'm just gonna maybe I should have put a little less but um, and by the way I'm gonna do a update video next uh, because I have so many updates and plans and news for you guys as always let's see if how that video comes up and let's see how the ideas come up and let's see how they develop but just FYI that's coming up okay look how beautiful so if you wanted just to um, to do a every day just like that look how beautiful right this I only use this well in the lip liner but you could skip it but just with this beautiful okay let's move along I thought this was going to be mostly about the blue eyeliner but it seems that <laughs> this became a great feature <laughs> okay moving along so eyeliner and by the way I did apply for my eyebrows the Jones Rhodes I've been using this every day it's one of the three things right the contour base the foundation and this uh, but I also added I hadn't pulled this out for a while but it was super super love and it is Chanel look how I mean this is kind of embarrassing it doesn't look love and, and new <laughs> this is old look at that tell me if I haven't used it I have used it this is oh my god I have to list it down below because I can't read it anymore it's gone but just so you know it's, it's color 30 I really 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 like this color and if you saw my videos way back when I started that's when I spoke mostly about this um, I had explained that I bought this color by accident because I didn't have my color I was traveling this is all they had and I just said fine but I ended up loving it why um, well first I love the formula but second the color the color is very since I'm kind of have white hairs and some mix and it's a little like that some days I woke up and it's lighter some days it's darker it's, yeah it's weird like that um, so this color is just light enough but it still gives the darkness and now the combination of this two like today I think I 
really like it. Okay. Why did I detour? I always detour. Okay. So let's move along. So let's swatch the blue eyeliner that we're here for. Ta -ta 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 -ta. It's Blue Abyss. So Blue Abyss. It is a gorgeous color. So I was very surprised. I thought it was going to be very metallic. Uh, I heard somebody saying that it was very close to GIF. Uh, but when I applied it, it doesn't perform at all like GIF and it doesn't look in the eye like GIF. So let's swatch it right next to each other and see, maybe I'm completely wrong. Yeah, that's what I thought. So this is Chanel. It looks more like this. <laughs> and this is GIF, and this is GIF, this is this one. So that's what I thought. Somebody said it was very similar. I don't think they're similar at all. At least for me, this type of shade that has a little more green and it's a little more like, what, what can you describe this? Um, more baby blue? I mean, uh, they don't compliment me that much. For me, it's more in the indigo dark. And this is not indigo, obviously. Indigo is closer to black, but uh, like their dark night sky. But this one, it is blue. It is true blue, but it doesn't have this turquoise greenish. And this complements me a lot more. So I don't think they're similar at all. Another comparison that was done was with the um, Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury has this. Oh, I put them backwards. <laughs> so you can see I've used this one. Um, it comes like this. And let me swatch it. It's one of those duos. And oh, it's drying up on me. Yeah, I haven't used it in a while. But the good news is that you can fit. Oh, this one. Mm -mm. Okay. So these are the two colors of Charlotte Tilbury. Now the lightest color, this does remind me a little bit more of the GIF. Although GIF has a little more metallic to it or radiance to it. I don't know if you can see it. This one's look a little more matte. Maybe because it has been older, right? Because this one is old. I mean, a couple of years for sure. And this one was sold as more the sparkly one. They all most of the duos, I have all of them, come with one side more matte and the other one a little more sparkly. And maybe they lost that, but yeah, I'm not, I'm seeing the give a little more sparkly. Yeah, okay. Maybe the Charlotte Tilbury will be closer to Chanel, but still not. I, it's a t I'm still tending to that metallic fun look the Chanel you'll see you'll see when I saw it I'm like oh one of those more fun metallic but the reality it looks very elegant you'll see okay so last I have two last ones so one is the other Chanel uh, blue metal I did buy this and uh, I haven't wear it that much here and there but it's very nice this one it's more towards the colors that I prefer, more in that navy blue, indigo. But I think the reason I haven't pulled it out that much is precisely that it looks too much navy blue. I usually prefer indigo. Indigo has a little bit of a, uh, of a mm to it. Navy blue usually is just like a, a base blue. I don't know if, if that makes sense. But um, yeah, that's the comparison to that. And then I do have um, oh, this one, the Victoria Beckham. This is Surfside. Um, I do have navy blue, but we're not going to swatch that one, the navy blue. Here. This one has a little more blue. This one will compare. Eh, not really. It, it goes more green. I'm sorry, I meant green. Look at that. This is Surfside. So, again, nothing. Maybe this one, right? This one was the Charlotte Tilbury. Might be the closest. But still, right there, this one is a, a different type of blue than this one. The Charlotte Tilbury is kind of like blue, but the Chanel keeps its elegance to it. And especially performing in the eye, you'll see. So let's, let's begin applying it. Because if not, blah, blah, blah. Okay, blue abyss. I'm going to apply it mostly on the bottom because I heard somewhere 
that the right way to apply um, eyeliner, especially for hooded eye, is to emphasize the bottom portion instead of the top. Why? Because you don't want a lot of stuff here that fills this area, which I, you know, I can, I see their point, but I don't, I don't necessarily love the look of the bottom part mostly. Um, it looks very nice. I get it, but I still miss the traditional kind of topper, top liner look. So what I'm doing there is I'm just doing a, a very small wink, 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 and then I'm bringing it down. And then really what I want is really to put it right in between my lashes. Do, 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 do. So I do want that blue to surround my eye, but I don't want to use the real estate from above. So, you know, every time I sit here with you guys, I feel like I'm getting out of breath and my back a little bit, but it is because I thought it was just the light, but I think it's a combination. I have a bench, a wooden bench behind, I mean, under me, and it's not a chair. And I think it's too hard. <laughs> now, right now, if you haven't been following me, uh, I'm in a rental home because we moved from Florida and we still, I mean, that's what I'm doing most of the time. I should have blogged on it because I go on and see houses, I mean, daily. And we haven't found our home. And, uh, and so the house here, even though it's beautiful and it's big, I'm in this little room, which is the smallest part, but that's why I don't decorate and apply more things and everything seems a little bit in, in the meantime, you know, in the meantime. And um, don't get me wrong, I have most of the house, you know, paintings and things on the walls already. Just this room, and even in front of me, I have a beautiful mirror, and the desk, that's what I was gonna go. The desk is higher than I usually would, that's why I have this bench. So once I go into the home, I will be, this will come down a little bit, it will be properly mounted and all of that, but that's where I was going with it. Anyway, all right, look how beautiful, beautiful. That's why I would've gone a little bit pinkish, maybe I'll, I apply a little bit of pinkish at the end, just to light up this cheek a little bit. Oh, I been enjoying this look quite a bit and wait until I put the blue mascara. Oh yeah. So I'll do this eye a little quicker. As I was telling, all, telling you all that story. Um, that's how I began. If, you, if you've been with me from the beginning, I began talking, 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 telling you stories. <laughs> uh, I, I remember some of the first comments was about, I talk too much. <laughs> so then I, I started stopping talking so much and I started um, becoming more like the norm YouTuber, you know, just talking about the products. And I think, um, I like the least doing that because I never came to YouTube to become like a, you know, what did it say? Not a commercial, but to, you know, of course you want to make money and you want to share your thoughts about the products and featuring them and all that. But that was not my goal. It's still not my goal. Um, my goal is just to share with you one of my passion, which is makeup. And I do buy these products anyway. I don't buy all of it, but a lot of it from each collection. So I just wanted to share with you like I am today. So I guess full circle, right? I'm going back to, <laughs> to the chatty me. <laughs> All right, so look how beautiful. Now, what I did see somebody before we put the mascara was if you had the Revage, which is the new spring 2024, um, I, shadow uh, they put a little bit of the neutral color right here 
and then they buff the eyeliner with a little bit of the sparkly blue, which probably is gorgeous. So I have here a few other options. Um, so one of them, let's see, this is, I'll put the Chanel because I have here the Isamaya um, eyeshadow, which I really like. It's, and usually that's what I pull out for this look. But since we're doing Chanel, let me try this. Um, so I have this uh, Les Four Ombres. This is Lumiere Naturels. This is a favorite because of the neutrals. It looks like there are three browns who wants to do anything with that, but they're different textures. This is a little lighter. And I, you can, you can tell I've used this palette. I mean, it's been because of the neutral, you know, neutral, you can never go wrong. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pull out a Wayne Goss small brush. I'm gonna take the medium of this colors and I'm just gonna apply a little bit in the in. I know this is so different, so different. And apparently, cause usually we put it on the outside and all that. And apparently I keep seeing this being done either with a sparkly color or with a whiter color or something, but up here instead of up here, which is it's kind of interesting. Now, of course, because of my hooded eyes, I still gonna apply a little bit here downward because I must, I have to have something that I, that shows a little bit of my crease. I mean, it's a must. So I would do this regardless of what I put. I've talked about that before. And if I bronze a little bit, I always bring it there because I have to alienate. I mean, look at the difference, right? It starts uplifting my eye versus nothing. So let me do that on the other. So I put it, this is just for effect. So I'm concentrated up in the center and then the rest I am doing the crease. If you've been with me, I usually go above my crease for most eyeshadows, but today the emphasis is inward. So I'm doing the center kind of crease and then I'm going up here and do the effect trying to make this a little darker. Hmm. So that's where I'm going to use this other one. This is Isamaya, but um, Isamaya palette. I really, really like this palette. And if you see my review is because it has the basic, the beige, the medium, the darker, and then it has a lot of fun colors. So, and then the black, but I'm going to use this dark brown. It is too dark. However, um, I'm just gonna apply just a tiny bit because I want that neutral darker in the center. It's just for effect. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna use another um, Wayne Goss brush. This is E2 and I'm just gonna buff that out because I don't necessarily want those shadows to be noticeable and mostly is for effect. There you go. Now I'm gonna grab the lightest and just apply a little bit on top of my brow and a little bit in my inner corner. Okay, yeah. And then the most important, which is I'm gonna use, hmm, a, ta -da 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 -da. I'm just gonna use this, which is the Wayne Goss E5. And I'm gonna use the bluish. Since I don't have the Rivage palette, I'm gonna use this bluish. So if you don't have this palette, with, uh, I will go with anything that has sparkle bluish. Just sparkle bluish, any, because the the liner is still the feature. The reason I'm not going with a white uh, sparkle is because I like to keep the blue. So any blue. I actually pull out a couple of Chanel's like I have here. This is uh, Modern Glamour. Modern Glamour has a white but with a little bit of perhaps bluish undertone. 
you can use that white one maybe it's too white let's see I have another one here I have so I have here this is um, Allure et Clat oh this could be a good one so well, this was a special edition limited edition however look at this one it has a little bit of that bluish well white but tending to the bluish that just came out so th we can try this on the other eye if you want to see the difference but that one is also limited edition so I would not like to do that to you here is another option this is the Christmas this one is still available this is the Christmas edition, limited edition too. This is the Lumiere graphic. Um, and so this one has this kind of sparkly white, but going, oh yeah, has bluish. You see that? Yeah, I guess this is the Christmas one and then the um, Revetch, the spring collection. They're too close. That's where they were heading towards that bluish sparkly. So we can try that and because it's still available, or I would put something, this is from Dior, this is the blue velvet, but I would put a little bit of blue and then, you know, a little bit of blue eyeshadow and then any um, white highlighter, sparkly highlighter that you have. Th those could be options. But since this is still available and it has that bluish tone, let me use this white. It's too white. I prefer the blue, but I'm going to do it on the other eye. Yeah, it works um, because what this does is brings out a little bit of that eyeliner. I'm just putting it on the bottom middle and then on top. Mm -hmm. And if you really want it a little more, I would use this again, this highlighter in a very thin kind of brush and you can put a just a little here to create that arc. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's just like, again, I, I'm seeing this trend uh, more and more, the special of the inner part. I'm not sure if I like it, if it just brings the eye together or what, but that's, that's where the fashion is going apparently. All right, so now, the other feature product will be the mascara and it's a blue mascara okay so I do have the dry blue mascara but I'm scared because I'm gonna just use the Chanel I'll show you I just want you to see at least the labels because they do resemble the color of the mascara so if you see the thrive is a lot bluer kind of like this color the second one I'm like this one or like this one and so to me it, it, it's a different look it's beautiful it's more fun the the Chanel let me let me do one eye and then I'll decide but I think I'm gonna do both Chanel because it is a look that it doesn't look like you're experimenting or fun or anything it looks elegant I can go to a meeting I can go to a social event serious social event even though it's blue eyeliner but I feel enough put together that I'm not playing with makeup. I mean, I am playing, but you know what I mean? Like I still feel my age. <laughs> um, not that in our age we can't wear whatever hell we want, but you know what I, I don't. Okay, this is what I mean. There's places that you don't want the makeup to be a distraction. You just want to look put together, perhaps a little creative, like you know, other women can say, oh, that's nice. Because, you know, men don't notice the difference. They notice if you look good or if you look bad, but they don't notice the makeup. Woman, I mean, at least I, when I see another woman, I see their makeup, I'm like, oh my God, that's so cool. Or I say, oh my God, that really works for her. <laughs> oh, oh, you know. Um, so this, I think, gives you that calls attention but in a nice way just kind of like oh that's cool so it was a, a great surprise for me ordering this mascara because I thought it was going to be more like the Thrive in the sense of a lot more distractive it is fun and when I feel that playful I do wear it 
about this. Ooh, 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 ooh. I haven't checked if if Chanel has other colors of mascara. Have you? No? Maybe I'll go and check, but I know this one. I just love it. Now, I will bring a little bit of, I don't know if I have Chanel highlighters. I'm not gonna go searching for one. I don't remember, believe it or not. Do I have a Chanel highlighter? I don't know. But who, for today, there's my dog, couldn't be out of the video. I'm gonna use Tom Ford. This is the one I've been using every day. This is the rose because it just lights up. And that's what I wanted. You see the difference? So it doesn't necessarily highlight. However, part of the collection was that bluish highlight um, on the chick. So if you want it, it will go with this look. Um, so if you want it, which I kind of want it now, <laughs> I'm gonna use the eyeshadow. The same we use. Oh, I, I, I didn't compare one with the Isamaya and one with this one. I would say I do like the bluish um, eyeshadow, sparkly, bluish sparkly more than the just the white sparkly. So I guess if you can get the new spring 2024 Chanel uh, eyeshadow palette will be great or if you want to get the Samaya palette or any other but that it has blue and the highlight I do like it better I mean it's such a small distinct here I put just this white one and here I put it with blue and it has a hint a little bit of more of that blue but the sparkly was the most important but hey I think for the difference that it makes especially in my hoodie eyes this is good enough so yeah, I, I wanted this fun part. So I guess the highlighter in the collection probably really makes that very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if you can see just right here, can you? I hope you can. It makes it so much fun. Hmm. Well, I'm still on time to order that. Um, the highlighter, Chanel highlighter, because Mm-hmm. I like it for this look. All right. Well, let's finalize. I did bring out one of, uh, I guess, must-have or favorites from Chanel. This is the 804. Now, it will be a lot pinker than this. I don't know why I, I thought this lip lacquer was a lot pinker, but it, it's looking good, I think. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of this Ooh, in here. You see that pinkish? So it's up to you. I mean, right now it's like, ooh, I like this. Probably for the rest of the day, I wouldn't be reapplying more glossy because I want the sparkly in the eyes to be the sparkly part. But just to finish up the look, I would. And then later on throughout the day, I would just apply the lacquer. You can apply the, you can bring this to your purse and that's all you need. Of course, um, I would add the Sonia G mini base. I have rave about this. They have the full size, but I like this mini. So this two you carry, maybe the eyeliner. But what do you guys think? I really love this look. I really, really love this look. Um, since I did talk about the Thrive, let me just pull it out. You see there, that's the color. You see that? So it's not as darker this is kind of getting to navy indigo this will look like that and so it would also be very impactful but like i said a little more fun and i'm just going to leave my eyelashes like this maybe oh decisions decisions hmm no i'll leave them like this if not it becomes too much <laughs> for today because I have things to do later on. So I hope you like this look. Uh, tell me what you got out of this collection. Did you get this blue eyeliner, the blue mascara, da 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 da? Or you got the eye uh, shadow quads? Um, let me know. 
let me know um, anything. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so, please ring the bell in the right-hand corner. And please look for the video that is coming up for updates and what my plans are. Again, it's taken me a year, a year of this ah, looking, looking for what is it that I'm doing. But I think it's coming clear now. So there you go. Thank you very much. Bye.